Hi there everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel, Dr. Coco's Medmonics. And today we're going to be talking about the lymph of the reproductive system. And so the way that I remember the reproductive lymph, which becomes really high yield on stuff, um, is we have a couple of different sets of lymph nodes in our reproductive tract. So anything that comes in pairs is going to be paraaortic. That's the way that I remember it. So think about anything in pairs would be your ovaries and your testicles. So if you think about the anatomical origin in embryology, um, the ovaries and the testicles both come from the either XX or XY and they come in pairs. And so pair right, aortic. Um, this is a mnemonic from first aid where it says the glands penis goes inside, deep inside. So this will be for the deep inguinal nodes and there's not a um, female version of that. Next, anything on the outside is superficial inguinal. So I think of anything that's pretty much a superficial organ. So the distal end of the vagina, vulva, scrotum, and the anus below the pectinate line. All of these, if you can remember that inguinal is superficial, it's going to be all the outside parts that you could actually touch with your hand versus anything inside is going to be internal iliac. So that'll be like the prostate, cervix, corpus cavernosum, the proximal vagina, and the anus above the pectinate line. So things that are more internal will be internal iliac versus things that are more superficial will be superficial inguinal. And I know it sounds really simple when you look at it here, but these are questions that come up and they want you to know the difference between those two and just knowing which one is which is very helpful. And then any organ that's like um, higher up, like the uterus and the bladder, will be the external iliac. And so if you can remember that those are a lot higher than the internal iliac, that'll help you differentiate the two. So here I have a picture of both the male and female reproductive organs. You can see in the blue right here, these are going to be your paraaortic, right? Because these have different pairs. So that's the scrotum and the ovaries. Right here we can see the glans penis which does go up further but with the mnemonic uh, it goes deep inside like we're talking about sexual intercourse so uh, that would be helpful to just think of the tip but also remember that the um, glans penis does go further inside. Then in the yellow here we have the scrotum the external part of the anus and the external parts of the female genitalia. And so if these are things that we could touch with our hand, right? So these are only superficial inguinal. Next we have in green, some more internal parts. So we're looking at um, the corpus cavernosum, the prostate, the anus above the pectinate line. And on the female reproductive, we have like the cervix, um, and we have the distal vagina, sorry, proximal vagina, things that are up a little bit further, right? They're a little more internal. So this is gonna be the internal iliac. And then in pink, we can see things that are gonna be like a lot higher up in our tract, right? So the bladder um, and the uterus, and obviously the bladder and the female that's not pictured, is gonna be the external iliac. So if you can remember superficial is the things that you can physically touch and then the internal iliac are more internal organs um, those are the two that on step they like to test you the most on